Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will check uh, how works so how we can uh, set up a vendor posting group uh, in Business Central, uh, what we can set up in a vendor posting group and also when BC uses the vendor posting group in order to uh, posting uh, uh, the payable amount uh, for one vendor. So let's go to Business Central and understand how this works. Uh, please uh, add your comment uh, and if you have any doubt about uh, any process in, in, in Business Central, uh, just let me know. So let's go to Business Central and check how we can uh, set up and use uh, the vendor posting group. Okay, so he, we are in the account receipt, but what we want to do is go to the setup. So let's move back here. Um, so let's go here. Let's go to explore in finals and check what we can set up here uh, in a vendor posting group and what we have. So uh, we have here uh, this uh, vendor posting group that is domestic uh, uh, and we, uh, what we can uh, set up here uh, is what is the payable, payable account uh, also, let me edit here so you can see uh, the account that was uh, selected. Uh, okay, let's show more. So this way we can see all the account. So maybe let's go here and check. So here I think it's this way. So uh, for this domestic vendor, uh, what we can set up here, so we can set up the account that every time that we uh, post something in this vendor, the system will use uh, this uh, payment account. Also here, uh, we can set up the same or uh, different account when you post some um, service charge uh, for this uh, vendor. Also here, you can set up uh, the payment discount uh, debt and credit so you just have to go here and select one account for that also you can uh, select here uh, the uh, the account for uh, routing so uh, as you can see here you can have the different uh, uh, routing in terms of system but what you can do here is uh, uh, is add the same account. Of course that you can set up uh, a different account but in, in this case usually what we do we we have a specific uh, expense account for that and usually use the same. And then uh, we have the account here that you use for debt and credit uh, when you post uh, the payment dollars for uh, this uh, vendor. He also what you can do is uh, create a new uh, vendor post group. So let's work with uh, international. Okay, so you just have to add here. Uh, vendors and then uh, you have to come here and, and select the payment account. So we will click here and see uh, what is the options that we have. So as uh, uh, as we can see here in the setup, uh, we 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 just have one account for payable. So I will select this. But what you can do when you work with domestic and international, 
is uh, create a specific uh, account for that. Here is the same. What is the account that you use for privacy charge? You just have to click and select a, a, a account for that. I will use the same. Okay, I cannot use this account. So let's put uh, this as empty. Uh, because it have to be, uh, in this case, an uh, expense account, not, uh, um, not a payable account. So let's put it here. I think we don't have a specific account for that. Let me try this. Okay. So let's uh, 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 we can let this empty for now then you can select here what is your payment uh, discount account uh, what is uh, your payment tolerance and also the route the account for that so here is, is just the idea how you can go uh, and uh, select this uh, we don't have the correct setup for this. Uh, we don't have uh, the account fees that I can uh, select, but it's just for you uh, to have idea how you can do this if you want to create a new uh, vendor posting group. Okay, so uh, what we will do now is uh, posting post. Uh, a purchase invoice and check how the system is using this uh, payable account. So let's go to one purchase order. We can create the purchase order. So let's select here. Uh, I already will input the invoice number. Uh, let's select one item here. Okay, uh, we already have the value, we will accept this value, and uh, what I will do here is just uh, post. Okay, I will receive an invoice. Okay, so let's see how the system is posting this. So he in flight entries, I can check uh, what the system was in order to post. Uh, and then uh, you can see here the value. So you can see here the account payable that is basically our uh, vendor posting group that is domain. Also, what we can do here uh, is uh, uh, pay this invoice and see how the system uh, owes the, the vendor post group. So let's go to the payment journal uh, and execute this. OK, 
Okay. Okay, my journal. And here, uh, what we will do is uh, select the date. Okay, vendor. So let's select our vendor. Then I will apply the entries because I, I want to uh, post for a, a, a specific invoice. So let's choose this invoice. It was the last. Okay, I didn't apply, so let's do again. So I will go here. Uh, that idea. Okay, now it's applied. Okay. And then what I need to do here is just post. Okay. So let's go to the vendors and check. Okay, this is our payment, uh, and what we will do here is just check uh, the account that the system uses in order to post it. So here, okay, so you can see here the account is the account payable. Okay, please let me know if you have any doubts. Uh, add your comments. Um, thank you.